Is it recording? Yes, it is. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to my page, Maddie Vlogs and Does. If you guys see smoke, it's actually the incense um, that I have. This is your new moon reading. Hello, my flowers. Welcome back to my channel. I know the new moon has gone, left, etc. However, um, these readings or these energies sometimes stay along longer than just that day. So if you feel like you lost the opportunity like me, I was doing a whole bunch of other stuff other than the readings. Um, this is going to be the time that I produce you guys the readings. I'm not going to do the pick a card readings because I'm tired of being a follower. This is what works for me, okay? Um, I don't, I know that the algorithm for YouTube has its own mindset, but this is what works for me and work and what, what works for me is, um, giving people the information that they need when they need it. Not when, um, YouTube always tells you, of course, somebody would be calling me. Um, when, when YouTube always tells you to do it or how they want you to do it, etc., etc. I want people to come to my channel. Yes, of course, a flock of people so that you guys can get the messages, get the readings, um, learn to love unconditionally, learn different facets of unconditional love, learn to love yourself and put yourself first um, in situations where you need to put yourself first, even though it hurts. This is this is the purpose of this channel. Um, and also to teach you guys other things about ASMR, hair, haul videos, my life, etc. So from now on, I'm going to give pull an oracle and a um, tarot um, card reading um, for each sign. I'm going to go down the list. I have the list right here. I'm going to go down the list and I'm going to timestamp it um, because I know you guys like this, the timestamp. Otherwise, I wouldn't even do that. So we're going to start off with um, Libra. This is your new moon reading um, for the month of September. So Libra, let's see what's going on with you. So Libra, it's time to take action. New moon in Aries. Wow. It's time to take action and you have the Ace of Cups. So you have both the Ace of Cups. Yes, this um, Ace of Cups represents um, the um, emotional, starting something new, etc. In, in relationships. However, I feel like this, it's time to take action. It's time to heal. It is time to take action for your emotions. It is time to take action against anybody that has ever came um, for you in a sense where you have not healed from certain traumas. This is a time to start something new where you're picking up yourself. You're picking up after yourself and you're not letting these emotions, you're not letting people tell you or dictate how you should or shouldn't feel during certain situations. Be honest with yourself, love yourself um, and put your emotions first make your emotions a priority that is important okay that is very very important uh gemini gemini is next gemini you have decimating yes decimating moon. i don't have my glasses decimating moon take time to take time to breathe out and we have the seven of swords so take out those Thoughts, feelings, emotions, people, places, and things that are causing you stagnation. Don't just settle for the thoughts that, oh, there's a lot of retrogrades going on and this is why I'm being stagnant. That is not the case, okay? You're being stagnant because I feel like a lot of evil eye, a lot of people are trying to take away what belongs to you. When you know that these, these things here being taken away from your castle belong to you. So go back to the drawing board and get back what belongs to you. That It could be as simple as time. However, it still belongs to you. Next, we have Aquarius. And Aquarius, we have the end of a tough cycle approaches. Full moon and Capricorn. So, endings also start with new beginnings. But make sure that when you end, whatever it is that's ending in your life, Aquarius, um, that you end them with a bang. That you end them with... Um, that with, a, with a feeling that you're definitely not coming back this time. End it with a complete ending. Don't end it with you knowing like, oh, maybe in two or three months, I'm going to go revisit this person or revisit the situation. Because eventually this is what you want. You have to know what you want. This is the star. You have to know what you want. You have to know where you're going so that you're able to close chapters in your life. If not, you'll stay stagnant. That's usually how that actually works. Not the other way around. Okay. Then we have Capricorn. Capricorn. Let's see what's going on with you guys. So Capricorn, we have the Knights of Pentacles. And 
just as you receive, please make sure to give back, give thanks, be grateful for the things that you have, and don't expect other people to work on what you have to be working on for you to feel feel fulfilled in whatever it is that you need. Yes, you have the communication is key, new moon and Gemini. Look at that, um, Capricorn. So you have one of the new moon cards, but it, with these energies, it's telling me that you shouldn't wait around to get... Um, to get uh, like rewarded by somebody or for other people to work on what actually belongs to you. And you have to learn to dictate to people like, listen, this is my job. This is what I'm doing, but this is your job. Make sure you don't cross over to this side of town because it's not going to work out. Okay. So make sure that you, you let people know that to stay in their place. Um, Aries. Aries, we have the Ace of Wands here for you. Let's see what the Oracle card is. And the Ace of Wands, yes, signifies new beginnings when it comes to work. And it signifies creativity. We have the Meditate and com uh, Contemplate, New Moon and Pisces. But it also signifies to me with water and fire is that uh, it's like, like water and oil don't mix, okay? Um, this is kind of like the approach that you should take in your life whatever isn't mixing in your life and whatever isn't working step to the side make sure that you step away from whatever isn't working or whatever relationship whatever new beginning isn't working for you if you have applied for a job that you usually apply for and for whatever reason they're not calling you back see if you can branch out because the universe has a lot of amazing opportunities in um you doing things that you might not have the confidence of telling yourself that, that you can do then we have pisces Pisces, we have the answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. So people from the past are definitely coming. Page of Cups. People from the past are definitely coming. It's going to be more than one person. They're going to try to give you choices. They're going to try to give you um, um, like ultimatums. And it's up to you to decide whether you take this person back. Because some people do come from the past and you take them back. Um, it could be a friend, it could be a relationship. However, people are giving you a lot of ultimatums and you kind of have to ask yourself, why are people giving me ultimatums or why are people, um, thinking that the offerings that they have for me is all that I have, or, um, that is the only value that I have. Those are the questions that you should be focused on. Next we have, um, Virgo. Virgo, you have half faith in your dreams, the waxing crescent moon. Let's see. And then you have the two of wands. So have faith in your dreams. Sometimes you have it, sometimes you don't. Um, but, but you should never lose focus. Sometimes you're going to have a good day. Sometimes you're not going to have a good day. Just don't lose focus. Don't tell yourself like, okay, today I'm not going to work on my goals because it was such a bad day. Or I'm not going to do the things that I have to do. I'm not going to put myself in a routine because I have a bad day. That's not how life works. That means you're losing track and focus of what you should be focusing on. Um, maybe this situation um, has something to do with like a boyfriend or a partner or a girlfriend that's taking over your time. Um, try to focus more on yourself, especially when they decide to throw tantrums. Now we have Scorpio, a time to give rather than to take new moon in Virgo. A lot of money, a lot of prosperity, but it's, see, victory. There we go, six of wands, prosperity, money, um, uh, people congratulating you for the things that you have. What, whatever you do, don't sleep on the fact that people are congratulating you. Once you finish something, always make sure where you, number one, are grateful for the things that you have been able to accomplish, and number two, what can I do that makes things better? Because life is ever-changing, and you don't want to stay stagnant. Oh, only because people are praising you, but know that the people that are praising you might also be snakes. Then we have cancer. Oh, cancer. Okay. We have a fiery climax approaches, full moon in Aries. Um, be careful with people at your job. Be careful with the gossip um, and the things that are happening. If you're not at work or you're not working at the moment, just be careful with gossip, period. Because if you are working, I feel like some of you guys might be let go. Um, and they might use the COVID card that a lot of people have been using. But it's only to give you the opportunity to focus on what you should be focusing on. Okay? Whatever that should be whatever it is that you should be focusing on this is the time to focus on it then we have the six of swords for those of you that are not going to get fired you guys are moving movements 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 
Um, I see U-Haul trucks coming about for those of you that do not believe in yourself and saying, oh, you know, I can't move or I can't do that right now. Or, That's not something that I'm able to accomplish. Know that the universe is going to cause a situation. From chaos comes the rewards. From chaos sometimes um, comes um, calming energies. Even though you might not feel like you're ready, the universe is going to give you the oomph that you need to give you that confidence that you need to move forward, okay? Then we have Taurus, 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 Taurus. And it's time to take action, new moon in Aries. So Taurus, let's see. And we have the six of pentacles. So weigh in your options and see what better suits you. These options might be an array of options, an array of situations in your life. Um, I also feel like you need to tell yourself, this is what's best for me. This is what's best for me. Let me leave people behind. This is what's best for me. It's kind of like an affirmation that you should be using um, and telling yourself, this is what's best for me. Because the Six of Pentacles not only brings people from the past, um, the Six of Pentacles, like, like, um, like the Six of Cups brings people from the past, but the number six is can also turn into the number nine, which can then reflect your divine femininity. Okay, you have to take control and take a stand in your emotions and respect your emotions. And it's look, take it's time to take an action. Um, if you feel like people are telling you what to do, telling you how to feel, it's time to tell them to kick rocks because this isn't um it's it's not their life, it's your journey. And that could be a parent, that could be a daughter, that can be a son. This is your journey. You have to tell them this is your time now. And remember to keep it that way. Then we have Leo. We have meditate and contemplate, new moon and Pisces. So, Leo, you're very emotional. You're very emotional. Oh, look, we have Leo, Six of Pentacles. So, new job opportunities um, are coming your way that are going to benefit you. And your sacral chakra, which means I feel like this is something that you're creating for yourself. So meditate so that you can get the messages from your ancestors, your spirit guides, aliens, whatever you believe in, whatever higher divinity, including yourself that you believe in. Make sure that you meditate, that you think about the options that are being presented and get to creating things for yourself, creating a space, creating prosperity for you more than what you've been doing um, in the last like maybe three to six weeks. And last but not least, we have Sagittarius. And Sagittarius, we have um, Show the World the Real You, Full Moon in Aquarius. And we have the Page of, of Swords. Make sure that you take action, small steps to the bigger, uh, to the bigger picture, small steps to the bigger accomplishments, to the bigger goal. Take your time um, so that you can show the world literally who you really are. And sometimes showing the world who you really are, it means that sometimes you have to tell people, you know, F off, get out of here, be a little bit more aggressive. It doesn't mean that this has anything to do with work, but just in general, in life, stand up for yourself and show people who you really are. So Sagittarius and all of my other zodiac signs, my other flowers, please love and take care of yourself and, and do not forget to water your life. Like, share, subscribe, and comment. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.